Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and we're here we're back with AI the Insom- The Somnium Files. I Insomnia the, the, the jokes don't come, stop coming. Uh, from what we last left off, we like, saw basically the first victim and got a glimpse into him, uh, the first Somnium of the game, the Dream World, and we saw how unfunny our, our main pr protagonist is. He needs to, he needs to get better if he's gonna survive in, in this world. In a police force of all things, the jokes always take center stage. Not anything else. Not protecting people, the jokes only. I managed to get like I'm like looked over like the files and to get like more into it. More into it, I say. To get used to like the whole UI and all systems and that's a pretty interesting stuff, but I'm, uh, let's go into the game. I was like, I was like going back into like, look at it, and oh boy, I, I like this loading screen into the main game. Memories of fuzzle and fizzle by. The first Somnium, and here. <laughs> There's some quite interesting stuff in the file system, actually, looking through it. Which was a person's appendix? Yeah. It actually goes, like, do terminology things. Terminology different things. Like, for example, my favorite. Trunk. Another word for the torso of the human body. <laughs> it's more stuff like that. But I just find that hilarious. It's... I think this is a pretty cool thing to have for people, like, you know, who don't understand, like, exactly what's going on. Like, different, like, prefectures in, like, Tokyo, like, exactly where, like, like locations are in that. What was it? For example, I'm, uh, what was that? Going back. The Abyss. I had a misunderstanding of, um, uh, the place being, like, you know, like, I'm, uh, I guess boss, like, picking out her own office. But apparently, I'm, uh, this whole section of, uh, the police headquarters is basically just almost completely confidential. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad, a special classified division of the Metropolitan Police Department, tasked with conducting criminal investigation by understanding and penetrating the human mind. The station six floors underneath the MPD headquarters. Few know their existence, even among police. Also, going through like the persons, there's quite a few. What was the one I, I liked the most? Mizuki. Yeah, Mizuki. What was it? This is the girl which is um, uh, the main suspect, and the, like, our main character, Dante, is, like, looking over. Although she's not related to Dante, he became her de facto guardian for four years ago. The two have lived under one another since. I'm wondering why this is the case, actually, too. Also, she dislikes raw seafood and how Dante holds chopsticks. Chopsticks. Absolute chopsticks. Also, emotionally devastating Dante <laughs> for <her> skills. <laughs> oh boy, I should probably like actually get into the main game. Hey, but I'm uh this guy's as well. Renju, Mizuki's father. He likes unusual things, dislikes ordinary things, hobbies, work, skills, enjoys songwriting. I really like the systems here, but we should probably get into it. Uh, I'll check out the flow, ch the flow chart, how different that is, actually. Saturday Psych AI. I'm assuming there's no direct path so far. First victim, the first Somnium. Sinking the Brian. <laughs> and this, ongoing. Oh, what was it? You also sound like I'm, uh, there was, with, like, there was, um, uh, one person you, like, like, called the police anonymously. What was their name again? I remember their name was, um, uh, first name was Otto. What was in the persons? No, it's not yet. We just had the, just the mention of them. So let's get into that. Through maps. To visit them. The Matsu, the Matsushita Diner. I think it was his last name, actually. Oh. 
So does he, like, is he, um, uh, he works there as, like, a family restaurant? Nice car. <laughs> the Metro Sheeta Diner, Saturday, 10, 18 a.m. Ooh, nice place. Oh, hello. Hello. What does you what do you specialize in? I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, do I have to come back later? Oh, I'm not a customer. Police business. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Ah. Uh, I flashed my badge. You see this? Grade A gold quality plating. Oh heavens, no! I is my boy? Is Ota in trouble? Uh, maybe a tiny Calm bit, down, but man. just questioning it, really. I'm just here to ask some questions. She heard her in the kitchen. And you're Ota's... Yeah, that's a knife. His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Mayumi Matsushita. Miss okay. Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Can I have some food? Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Maybe put the knife down the table beside her. Kitchen knife. Let's grab it for herself. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something isn't gripped in the handle. I saw those, like, flowers on it, so... Disposable chopsticks. Ah. Uh. Where is your husband of the weather telling about your restaurant? What is this oh. restaurant about? What you oh, make? it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. It's definitely different. It looks cool. I manage <laughs> it with my husband. But it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. As it is always. Oh boy, I worked at a, I worked at a, a restaurant. It's terrible. <laughs> No, it's not terrible, but it gets pretty hectic. Too he hectic sometimes. Julia. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. Oh, so like, hmm, she's exaggerating? That could mean. Never mind. Oh, so like, naysayers that live there, like, frequent this establishment? Oh boy. <gasps> Okay, thanks for giving us... Thanks for just telling us that small hint and just leaving us alone. Pronoun games, yay. How long have you been here? Oh, about 30 years now. That's some commitment. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back uh -huh. then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Mm hmm. Nowadays, it's not, I guess. What about this weather? Is it raining today? Rain last night was pretty bad. Wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to exhaust all the options. I Get think... a better understanding of this restaurant and the dynamics. I think... He went to buy some ingredients. Some high-quality, grade B stuff. No, he comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. About Shoko. Shoko. I said to ask her about Shoko just in case. I brought a picture of Shoko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Okay, so you've never seen her before. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, actually, what's this place around look like? Nice soft cushions. <laughs> Good luck charm. Okay. So, is Oda here? That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? <laughs> Karate chop to the neck! Oh. I see from him. What was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. <laughs> Nonconformists and the like. Oh god, rebellious spirit. What, like gangsters? A chaw gangster spirit power. Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then 
Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Oh, he works in the entertainment company? There's something similar to him, uh, Renju's place? I remember seeing that on his, like, card. Well, it's a report card, almost like his file, anyway. It's the name of the company. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty, they, they... Is there, like, a business card somewhere in your ha in this restaurant or house, I guess? Hmm. Why does Oda hang out there? <sighs> because there's a goddess there. Oh, God. A what? Oda says it all the time. A goddess. A goddess among entertainment. Oh, boy, worship. More like a witch, if you ask me. Oh, a witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. I have a, a feeling. Is this... <laughs> is this e -curling? You see that box over there? Entertainment industry. Goddess. Putting all money in. E-girls, okay. Oh boy, that's a whole can uh, of worms I don't want to get into. Yes. Oh, I didn't see that before. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Oh god, merchandise from the interwebs. Do you want to see? It was I delivered guess. a little while ago. Oh <laughs> Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible sucky. <laughs> okay, I'm a completely convinced about it now. <laughs> she forces Oda to buy them. I know it. You should check out the merchandise and the t-shirts in the description below. Okay, God, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Zoom. The sender is Great Grin. Great Grin. A kind of... A popular online store. Okay, never mind. Is that supposed to say Amazon? Product description reads solid model. Solid model. Oh gosh, figurines. It's a cardboard box. It's a delivery slip attached to it. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, let's go That's look. It. There's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Yeah, from Great Grin. Why not try enlarging the image? Enlarge. We should look inside. Use the X-ray mode. How so? Oh, okay then. I figured it was a figurine. Now, what is this? A figurine of a <laughs> an entertainment figure. A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Oh boy. Something's written on the base. The letters appear uh. to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. To the internet! To the internet! <laughs> Package for Oda. So is this work witch working there? <laughs> yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. idol! Okay. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I think I remember her from, like, the trailer, like, she's supposed to be, like, the... Yeah. The next other figure. I just call her the witch. The witch. The witch. She's nothing, anything but a witch to me. Alright, we're getting nowhere. Except... <laughs> she doesn't remember the talent or the company. Oh, Even boy. I am at a loss. Yeah. Which is popular enough when you, like, see the X-ray in the, the package, then... Hmm. Key Colin? Yes, we could just call get... him. Yes. Does he have a cell phone? But I don't want to, you know, interrupt his, you know, busybodying witch hunting schedule. A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Oh boy. Doesn't have one? Ah, uh, that explains why he needs a payphone then. He better not. Waste of money. Oh boy. You can abandon this line of questioning, Gate. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. <laughs> I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is oh no boy. connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Oh boy. Locked away in an entertainment business tower. Leeching away all those sick Wi-Fi scepters. Make sure to close the window. <laughs> you don't let the Wi-Fi get out. 
Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. Oh boy. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. You're a real bucket of joy. Being sassy, and, in and technically. Is that really it here, or? She mentioned a box. Are we gonna look at the, the package even more? Picture Oda, X-ray. A set. Hmm. What is Mother Mayumi Mashushida? Look at the knife closer. It definitely looks. Yes, yeah, flowers. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Hmm. What's engraved on it? There's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Oh, it was a gift. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. Aw, oh, sweet. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Hmm. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It's a fairly heirloom at this point. It means the world to me. Yeah. <laughs> Date, I found some information about the figure. Oh Aset is the name of a popular female musician. A musician? That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. Oh. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. So like they're like a purely just a one-member band almost? What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Lemniscate? Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemniscate. What the heck does Lemniscate mean? <laughs> Renju owns that company. Oh. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Actually, well, let me double check that. Persons, Renju, entertainment company, and maid cafe manager. No, it doesn't mention, like, the actual company he owns. Hmm. Interesting. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Oda goes. We need to go on a witch hunt. Get the pitchforks, torches. Go, go, go. Iba, bring the car around. At boy. once. Oh boy, self-driving cars. Onwards we go. Let us skate. Let's tend to laminate these papers and files. Wait, Lemniscate is actually the, the name for the infinity symbol, actually, I just realized. Mostly just from the, the logo. It does sound familiar somehow. Lemniscate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. Our entertainment will keep you hooked and completely entertained all day long for infinity and beyond. It's a pretty cool name for an entertainment system, though. That's him? I already see him. Correct. There are tons of magazines here. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who's asking? Who are you? <laughs> That's for my badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Yes. We track you down. We know everything. What is this place about? Currency magazines. Lots of magazines in the rack. Let's see. How to take a... <laughs> How to take a girl home in just two minutes. Okay, I think I'll take a look at that. Oh boy. Promotion of videos the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty though. What did you think they're gonna play? This isn't that kind of company. <laughs> See a receptionist later. This receptionist with cute, but she's a breast sitting behind the desk. Thank you for clarifying. Are you a fan of A set? Let's just go with that and see what you can describe How did you know that? The police knows everything. Because I'm psychic. Oh god damn it! Of course the references. <laughs> Excuse me? Just kidding, I just have really good intuition. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> what are you typing? Nothing. Are you <laughs> Can you stop again? bothering me, please? Well, too bad. Police have questions and police will get answers. Could you look at me, young man? No. I'm kind of busy right now. 
What is this area we just walked down into? It's the main reception office waiting room, so... Meh. What can you tell me about last night? Last night? What were you doing last night? Did you, um, uh, try to have any fun last night? Tipping over cows, tipping over car horse carousels Don't into play the ground? Dumb kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. Yeah. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop lying, you. All right, let's look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Yes. Article 2-3 of the Execution <laughs> of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, <laughs> oh, I love him. no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. <laughs> this is the type of kid I hate the most. <laughs> so you think... <laughs> oh, I don't want to even look in my direction. He's type, 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 typing away in his laptop. Okay, let's do physical assault. Let's go. Date, wait. <laughs> Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Who cares is this guy? And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. We hack his computer? Oh, it's his laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? No, that's called abuse. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. <laughs> You have a fierce violency streak. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Get your patience under control, dang it. You're not funny and you're now you're now impatient. <laughs> you're getting lower and lower. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What dosage? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. Yeah, don't let the Wi-Fi out, or else we can hack it. And I was curious, so I hacked into it. Already. What are you looking at? Pongo Poco. That night, lol, probably just some fugly Does girl. Tessa referred to Asa? Got your ears checked. Do you think you understand even the entertainment industry? I don't want to hear that from a, a fugly guy, unwanted woman type. Oh, God. Does Tessa re refer to Asa? Oh, yeah, Moto. To Witcher. A young, up and cunning, super genius author, multiple award winner. Tessa's future. Tessa's future husband. Tessa? That is a popular fan nickname for her. Oh boy. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Uh... What? Oh god. Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Oh no. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Oh god, you're one of those people. Ugh. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. <laughs> this kid is pathetic. <laughs> We've seen the internet history, we know everything. Tell us everything. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? Tell her all the things you look at. That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. <laughs> you shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Oh boy. Legal action in every sense of the word. Oh boy. Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. Yes, thanks for telling, just re referring to what Ivy said without no <laughs> credit. Okay. What? How do you know that? Because I'm I psychic. Told you, kid. I'm psychic. <laughs> now, I have some questions for you. In this digital age of the modern world, you don't hold any holds over what you consider privacy anymore. <sighs> Fine. Why are you here? Why don't you start with the fake accounts? Okay, I'm more interested about that right now. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. Oh, boy. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh, God, you're comp- Oh, I don't want to even say the word, but... Fucking sip. <laughs> oh, God damn it. 
I didn't expect to see this kind of thing in this game. <laughs> she, she doesn't see you and I'm protecting her. She doesn't know I won't notice me. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? Oh, boy. But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... Oh, boy. That's a, that's a weird end justifies the means type philosophy, kid. That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? Use those sub accounts for good, you kiddo. <laughs> Even though you're basically an adult, I don't care, kiddo. Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. Oh, God. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemnisgate Entertainment's production branch. Uh. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Mm. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Oh. Cool. Varieties. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why Finally. were you in the area? I, um... Looking around the dangerous parts. You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. <laughs> hey everyone! Fine. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. <laughs> about last night I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone meet who did you enter the park yes so oh. who are you meeting a girl named Mizuki Okiyura oh what did you say Mizuki Okiyura she's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate do you know her yeah I know her you want me to take care of her I still want to know more about, like, why, like, you know, we're taking care of her. Like, I don't personally mind it, but, like, why is there, why was her parents that, you know, just dropped her off to us? Like, are their, their jobs too busy? They must have a lot of trust in us, then. <laughs> How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Really? Yes, yeah, she better be. <laughs> what? Why do you care? Overprotective parrot! Go, go, go! Where and how did you two meet? We met on the internet. Um, here. The Lemniscate Lobby. Oh. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. Really? I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Life goes in mysterious ways. Don't call it a relationship. It's a friendship relationship thingy, my bob. Well, what am I supposed to call it? A uh, friendship? Acquaintanceship? Something other than relationship? <laughs> Going into syntax with a 21-year-old lost dude. <laughs> Sipping over the internet. <laughs> oh, I love it. How do you know her then? Did anyway, she just walk up I have her look over my work sometimes. Oh, really? You asked her for advice? Well, I guess it makes sense. Work? I write light novels. Ah, really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. Kiyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Oh boy. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? <laughs> My third eye can see through your bullshit. <laughs> the third eye! I called it! Because <laughs> I'm psychic, uh, well, you Well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So you just have tons of excerpts on your, on your plate? Oh boy, I know that feeling. Plenty of those on on this computer right now. Uh, so no ideas. anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I mm. get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader. She's surprisingly insightful. Yeah, some some kids and like people have some pretty good good advice. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Ah. He provided detailed account of last night. Around 8.10 last night, mm -hmm. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. Yeah? She sounded scared. Oh. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. That makes sense. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. 
another media service, I assume. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. I'm glad, okay, we got that. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Mm. What Who time? It? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Uh. Can you provide detail on Kettle last night? What happened next? Like, did you just only, like, like headed to the entrance and, like, you know, heard a scream, Mizuki screaming? Did you just decide to go to the payphone? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Oh. And the corpse is there. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> You ran away. So she has an alibi almost, unless, you know, the police are going with the whole story that I'm, uh, she killed her mother, like, beforehand, and just came with a friend, just, you know, have a weird, twisted alibi. Oh boy. You just left her? Did I you was... leave her there? I was scared of my mind, man! You left a 12 year old girl by herself? I didn't mean to! I was panicking! People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Yeah. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. <laughs> You're a real hero, kid. Oh, it's just you. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? <laughs> Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? Oh, boy. She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like... <laughs> Her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Gonna have a serious talking to you when we get home, Misty. <laughs> oh boy. Why did she use a pace phone? Like, I mean, we just learned that you had a cell phone. I tried so. using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. So it's still there at the scene? You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. Oh, so it basically just died. Oh, God. The phone has not been turned on since. Hmm, guess he's telling the truth. So we have to go back there soon. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Ota, Tessa? Tessa! Yep, figured. Hello. <laughs> you cat ears. <laughs> um. And you are? My name is Dante. Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. Ah. You mean a detective? Oh, I love detective fiction. Wow, I've never met a real detective before. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> what is this girl? Stop! No! <laughs> the face of a man is too King bad stuff happened. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Oh god, you're into this kind of thing. Oh boy, oh god. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Jesus. Hi, A set. Are you A set? Let me confirm something. You're A said, right? Let's play a game. Shadows! That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Please go back. Um, thread? Silhouette? A said. What? Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? A said. Water! Liver chopped. Go back. Wet sweat? A said. Oh god, the rhyming game, Jesus. <laughs> Yay! Set, you bet! Oh boy. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. I'm more concerned why Iba just. just. <laughs> you're less sassy now. How old are you? I turned 18 this year. Oh boy. A senior in high school? Yep. 
Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. She's legal age. Please don't. Please don't, Date. Please, please, please stop. No. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. Good. What? Oh. <laughs> and then Ota. Wait. You were gonna make a move on me? Oh, really, you say? <laughs> relationship with Oda? Relationship? We don't have one! We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Oh god, please stop. You make me feel so much pity for you, Her stop. Thrall. If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Oh boy. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Oh god. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... Uh, make it end! <laughs> about the sock puppeting? <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winter. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> What's going on? Oh boy, now we just had her under a locking key. Mizuki Okira? You know her? Yeah, I am. Well, I guess you would meet her since you know she's the daughter of like the the, pre of the president of the company you're working with. So yeah. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So yeah, can we hang out sometimes. Yeah. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that. But basically... Like, she helps you with your work, then? Yeah. Mizuki and I live under the same roof, yeah? But she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. You should so, get closer to her. Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Mm. Shoko Nadami. Did you talk about her last night? Shoko Nadami. I took a photo from a pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Oh boy. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Uh. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Yeah, I, I, that was not my first thought either. Dami and Okiura. The only thing they have similar is just their hair color. Well, maybe face, but that's a bit hard to spot. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Mm. We're leaving. No, we gotta talk about. We gotta talk more about it. Oh, um. What happened then? I we need more deets, because I'm pretty sure Mizuki's not gonna talk unless we are there. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Uh, why didn't you come to the police? So we both have a, 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 a first grade witness and also secondhand knowledge to a very popular idol. Nice. Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. I mean, that could come into play about, like, turning tides over, like... I can imagine something like that. I'm just thinking too much into his stuff. But, I'm, uh... I guess, like, more information to be leaked. It oh, is boy. possible Ota wanted her attention. Yep. He told I her was so brave! I attention. helped her! Yes. Actually... I already knew about it, before Ota told me. Mizuki called you? How? It's all over the internet. Wait, what? When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He oh. told me he saw the body. <laughs> you just obligated to tell her. We're leaving now. About a set. Gee, Tessa, bit. you always look so cute. Okay, please stop. So, so cute. Get your PDA out of this office building. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. Oh, I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. Stop suffocating. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? Okay, we're leaving. 
Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Hmm. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Well, we need more information about Shoko and Nadami herself, like the established motive, opportunities, exactly like her whereabouts. Exactly. We didn't right. exactly look at the scene ourselves Let's head either. Back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In Girl, that file. case, I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm gonna be seeing a real life corpse! You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because be I wanna know more about what happened. This be good for my podcast. Oh god. Oh, those kind of people are the worst, but uh, I don't think she's like that so far. Oto might be like that way. Do you have any <laughs> suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It yeah. must have been some kind of twisted message. Maybe so. Also, copycat. We need. I want more about that. Oh, Oto, take show. a video. What? Huh? Just do it. Mr. Date. Oh God. Please, Mr. Date, you can't leave me. What? Uh, I can't imagine life without oh, you. Oh God, you're manipulative. Bitch. What are you doing? God damn it. I love it. Hi. Oh God. Oh, Ta, did you get it? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Interruptions. I play games. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's a good face. Smile. You better take us to the crime scene or else I'm gonna say that you were trying to break up with me even though we never met before. Oh, this is Annie Sunny Files. Um, uh, it's the by the it's written and directed by the same person who's going through Zero Escape. And so far, it's pretty realistic, even though it has heavy sci-fi elements. And also, um, uh, one thing, this guy. What do you think of him right now? He is a small child who reminds me far too much of a Pokemon trainer. He's 21 and he's a simp for that girl. I mean, that should be expected. No, literally. <laughs> He has many accounts online pretending to bash her and defends him. Oh defends her. Oh god. <laughs> you should see the way how he talks. <laughs> that alone upsets me to no end. <laughs> oh. Good. Have no fear, my lady. <laughs> I'm glad you did the exact same thought. <laughs> oh. Dear god. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a positive from here too. Oh, that's yes. Since she has fucking cat ear head time. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so also, what kind of a skirt is she wearing? That like I don't think that's a skirt. What, what is it supposed to be? Because I don't see the divide for pant leg. I swear, that's like I think she's shirt. only wearing a jacket and have the most smallest pants underneath. I don't know, that or that's that. just her shirt. Actually, that's just her shirt. Oh my god. She's not actually wearing anything. Shirt and jacket. Oh, let's go. Jesus. Oh boy. Why are they both looking at the camera? Because I'm a first person though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh, the investigation I, segments are first person. You made me play a game where the person talks to you directly, so I don't know. I thought maybe this would be something similar. It, where they look hopefully at you for answers. Yeah, it is. Although, I'm, uh, hmm. This is the work in, like, Zero Escape. Like, I'm, uh, that one's it's supposed to be, like, almost, like, also, like, first person, also third person. You know, the whole switch swap modes. I still want you to finish that, though. Because I'm having a fun time with this, and it's, it's really realistic and serious, though. That's a little start. Also, do you know trunk is also another word for the torso of your body? Trunk. What? What torso doesn't look anything like a trunk? <laughs> what was it? No, not here. What was I it? Where was it? C. Trunk! Another word for the torso of the human body. Uh, uh, 
Yes! Yes! Hey Chris, I know how to get yellow real quick. I would think what? You wanna play more of that game right now? <laughs> okay, see ya, bye! bye. Well, I'll force you later. <laughs> Well, that was my friend for you. <laughs> Odoi Kuyoma. I'm just gonna look through these real quick. Oh, just pen name. He came up with it starting with a popular fictional character reference and spelling out the name in Hiragana. Then he changed the letters to kanji, each character of which containing a certain meaning. Well, I'm not too proficient in, like, you know, Japanese kanji names, so. I want you, though. I wonder how you can get to that. Sub? Submarine sandwiches or something else. Oh, Twitter stuff. An account that is managed by the same individuals on their main account. Hmm. Okay. Got that interruption out of the way. That was a fun interruption, though. <laughs> Stop looking at me, expecting me to be you, child. Adult child. Oh, not at all. I'm just oh. imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Well, guess what? You could come with me then. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? <laughs> Buttons. Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? Yes, but please stop. I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Um, probably almost nothing except for stupid- Okay, you're right, actually. Stupid people, like, doing this whole dumb thing like he's doing! Oh boy, we wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. <laughs> you little... Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. Why? If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. That's it. A thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Oh boy. Like, we're just gonna use her power to seduce witnesses? Oh boy, please don't tell me you're doing that. Okay, looks like we are doing this. Okay, uh, come on with us and you'll see the whole world filled with your imagination of... murder. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> with us, or...? Hmm. The car isn't domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel's on the right side. That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. Hmm. So you custom made it? Talk to you then? Uh, about Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies huh. and karaoke and go shopping together. Nice! She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. Uh, I'm so much older it. than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. <laughs> but sure, for age. Especially around us, if we're taking care of her. Any questions for me? Why'd you become an idol? Yay, motivation stuff! Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I guess it's one facet of it. I guess it's almost like literally anyone's. Yeah. Entertainment is also cool. Famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Household name? You're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. <laughs> internet star? Yeah. Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. Well, you don't know the whole full gist of everything going on, I so more songs, information the better. And dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Oh boy. Making a whole gosh dang great a hypocrite thing for playing this game then. Oh boy. Have you boy, heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge? I'm assuming that's like some uh, RPG or MMO. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the screen. Okay, it's, no, it's directly Minecraft because <laughs> that was my first thought, but they wouldn't go there, would they? I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. Well, what about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Mm hmm. How did you start working for Lemmiskade? Actually, yeah, I mean, if you like, if you're just like a, you know, like I'm a, just a normal 
person in your house, like, working on this kind of stuff. <laughs> like I am. How'd you get, like, a, a whole advertising well, entertainment first, company on you? first, all I did was stream from home. Well, yeah, like, normal people. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. Yeah, I started fine. getting offers from agencies. Uh, One of them was Lemnus Gate? Boy, wouldn't that mean you sold it out? Okay. Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Well, you just got in by word of mouth. Friend of Renju's? Yeah. Mm. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. Yeah. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. I love this girl already. <laughs> About Oda, do you actually like him? Please tell me no. Why do you ask? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. He's special in the head, a special little snowflake. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, oh, huh? Don't please don't tell me it's only because of Twitter messages. Ah oh, boy. You have any questions? Questions. Questions. What's it like being a detective? Very boring paperwork stuff, and also sometimes, very rarely, we see crime scenes. I know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? In a sense. Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! <laughs> no. It's confidential stuff. What are you doing? Oh boy. Just thinking about posting that video. Whoa, hold up now. Make up something up. Well then, tell me! Jesus. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? No, not really. What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. No, haven't you ever heard of him? Uh, oh gosh, even though she's pretty popular, it's on my head, I can't remember her. What was it? Uh, that song. Those songs. <sighs> oh god. Taylor Swift, like, doesn't she have, like, many songs about, like, breaking up with boyfriends and that? Like, I don't think she's gotten a really big backlash, so, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Not Dante, you are pretty off internet stuff. It's okay. Uh, it is? Yeah. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Whoa. What? I can see into the future. What? I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> uh. Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not now going to fight. Now the flow chart <laughs> in the gains menu, is it not? Not going down with so I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Mm. Oh boy. Department. I'm really gonna tell her. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Oh boy. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. That's a very unique way to like, you know, reveal information about it. Just someone manipulating you. <laughs> Public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! And we just tore to a famous idol, so I'm, uh, yay! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Isis. I'm more of Anubis myself. <laughs> Ask her for a real name. Oh. By the way, pen name. Didn't catch your name. Only just so far it was just some, uh, Tessa. You really want to know? Or Asa. Tessa's literally. Ace says Lily just backwards for Tessa. Jesus Christ. It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Oh. Winter irises. Iris Sagan. Iris Sagan. I know. Weird, right? Well, Sagan part. Maybe. I'm not used to certain names entirely, so yeah, that's my own thing. And you know her. <laughs> Ratty cake, Ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke okay. it, fill it with fruit. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Sorry, I just blacked out there. I almost 
swerved and killed us both. No, it's nothing. Hmm. I'm your real dad. We don't know anything past our memory by, by last, though. Bloom Park, Saturday, 1, 12, 12 p.m. Excuse me. Yukiname Date? Yes. That's right. Who is the other police officer in the scene? We learned his name. Kagami, I think? And the girl? Someone with She's us. She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. Really? We've got business here. <sighs> oh, uh, okay. So now we have a better look to look at the body now? Or has it been taken off? And like, just body tape. I wish you can hold back your excitement and rush into the scene. Oh, boy. Working around like here. But Raina looks almost normal. Almost. Almost. What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. Uh, have She's fun. a natural detective, huh? <laughs> mm hmm. Mr. Date. Was the body on top of this horse here? Was well, there like blood or blood already biting yeah, on that's it? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. I don't know many ritual murders, actually, to be honest. I know none of them, uh... Well, I guess, with copycat killings, wouldn't that be like something like ritual? Or like, um, uh, imitation murders? Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. Oh, you mean like that kind of ritual stuff? Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of stuff before. <laughs> They conducted their ritual here, like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around. Oh, waving the candles around the middle of the gosh dang rain. <laughs> Stabbing her one by one. And how many times was she stabbed? That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? Not yet until you give me some. I do. Well, let's hear it. Nice. Okay, have you been here before actually? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki mm. is restricted, right? Kabasaki? No one's supposed to be here. Why so? This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It'd be primed to like, have some delinquent criminals goings on. It was closed eight years ago. The mm. closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Oh, so basically just chemical leakage. An explosion uh. caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. So I guess maybe only recently it was, you know, cleaned, but since, you know, because of all the things happening, no one wants to take it back, the land for himself. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Uh. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. Dang. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Oh, uh, yep, there is. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. <laughs> are they okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. <laughs> are we safe? For the most part, I guess. We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. I wonder how, like, that kind of thing happens, like, decontamination. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But <laughs> it's still off-limits, right? Like, move for the rest of the area, I assume the rest of the district, the prefecture? Yes, legally. Legally speaking, yes. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. <laughs> I mean, everyone likes to go against what you say. <laughs> yes, reverse psychology is the best. Why do you think it's ritual murder, actually? The horses! Horse? Be 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 because horse, it's ritual murder. Excellent logic. Continue. Sounds kind of like Horus, right? I don't understand your logic. What are you talking about? But I guess wordplay. You don't know Horus? Horus is an Egyptian god? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Hmm. I only know Anubis because popularity. Also, Ascubis. <laughs> the right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. Okay, this is coming up. Okay, I can understand your logic now. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the, the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is Watch the moon. Watch it. Watch it. Didn't uh, that guy called Pewter mention something about Wajet? Like a system? Hmm. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. Maybe just there. No, it seems too coincidental. 
the Eye of Providence? The All-Seeing Eye. The Illuminati! Okay. <laughs> the chupacabra and the UFO in the dream. Oh boy. Oh, I see. Uh, Just like what's on the back of a one dollar bill. That too. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. I'm surprised you know all this trivia. Starting to see the picture? Not really. Oh my god. It's a weird conspiracy thing. Why do you think it's Liverpool murder again? I remember Ota describing the scene. Did he literally tell you exactly how the body looked as well? He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Stab. Oh my god, Mizuki took out the ice pick? What? What well, wasn't like another person scene? Boris? Yeah, like... Providence? Left eye? Mm. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. I Wait, guess. What did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Was like the eye still left like I thought they said like the left eye was completely removed before death. Then like they after like they stabbed him several times, they stabbed it the ice pick into the eye? Jeez. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. I mean, Mizuki took it out, I presume, and like just hid into the column. If Ota's telling the, the truth, he would have no reason to lie about such a detail. It's yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like it incriminated anyone or himself anyway, so it doesn't matter. It has to be the truth. And Mizuki was holding it. Mizuki. Mizuki took it out. Or the culprit like came around, saw, like, her as well. Like, I'm, uh, hmm. Actually, did R Renju get a message about, like, you know, being left behind? Or is this whole murder happening both in terms of, like, hobbycat killing and also because, like, they wanted to, like, get back at Renju, the entertainment industry? Hmm. And plus, there's now ties to the actual police force as well. Huh. You're wasting your time. No, hey, not. Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. You never waste your time when you look around and doing nothing. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. Guess they didn't what? find any leads, not a single clue. You never know when there might be something you overlooked. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? <laughs> I don't see anybody. Guess what? You can't see her. She's only mine. She's in my head. My voice is in my head. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? Huh? Technically, she's in your eye, really, legitimately speaking. So, yeah. Lord's investigating the horse, looking over curiously. He looks like the body's been taken away. Is your... Is your course tied up here? Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? Like, was there bloodstains on the thing? I don't remember. What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. So the body was moved. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Oh. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. Mm. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That oh. was me. The body was moved. So like, is there any other Plark or has like very special interest? I mean, this obviously can't be, like, there has to be a struggle somewhere. Although, the area might be completely too big to actually, you know, pinpoint exactly where, like, you know, a fight occurred. And once we figured out Shoko Nadami's, like, whereabouts, like, her movements, like, yeah. Is that a phone booth? No. No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. I wouldn't put it past you to not know, though. Anything going on, Mr. Police Officer, local cop? No, nothing. We're looking at the column again, actually? Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Hmm. Anything? Oh, is that it? We should go. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. Okay, Miss Detective, what have you found so far to increase our stay longer? No, 
I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Like, did you find, like, a second body in the rafters of the merry-go-round? Okay, I guess. Hey, you all right? Wh what? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Dizziness? Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, score! <laughs> Piggyback rides to the wind! Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? I think it's also rude Under to ask her anything about yourself. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? It's... Yeah. It's an also rude to ask about a woman's, like, you know, age. So basically Your anything you ask. So warm, Mr. <gasps> okay. Oh, please, stop. No. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> hmm. It's a long drive. How are you feeling? Oh, uh, horrible. Oh no, my, my stomach. I think I have the. I I want a fucking die disease. My stomach is hurting too mu too long, too hard. Shame. Shame. Shame to shovel it all on. Oh, you should worry about me more. I don't worry about a lot of things. Looks like you're feeling better now. <laughs> Maybe I'm just acting. Well, I guess what? You're the, the you're a pretty bad actor then. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? Then I will eat you out of the car. I would put it right back where it came from. Oh, that works too. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> okay, I rest up in the passenger window. Wait, seriously? Please don't. No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 60%. We could just turn the AC unless it's. Car is bad AC. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Mm. Hey, Date. <laughs> I'm glad you do the same thing I do when I go on trips. We gotta do the wave. The paper wave. Whoa! Oh. Okay. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Stop. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. What? You're in the middle of the highway, unless you're passing by a car. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. Yeah, I, I can see the future where I can die. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Okay, let's tr let's okay, let's tell. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm, uh, give me your arm so we can actually like serve it up for later today. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. I mean, that's pretty strange, but it feels like. I've met you before. Uh, well, that's nice. And if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now, I'm gonna make sure that hand gets back. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my gosh. The wind feels okay. nice. Hey. Oh, we're taking her back home. Sagan residence. Saturday, 3.09 p.m. You should come in. Thank you. No, that's all right. Oh, okay, I, I recognize home. this place. Ooh, going home already. I already recognize this place. I said my goodbyes and turned to leave. By the corner of my eye, Cyrus. I felt my body freeze. Because that woman, she's in the dream. I guess 
I will relay this information in the morning. Hmm. No, it can't be. It can't be. I feel like my mind and body are being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Uh, wormwood is pretty good. Although it's for stomach aches, isn't it? But that was some pretty good tea, though. <laughs> You're nice to meet you. Who are I'm you? Iris's mother, Hitomi. Hitomi. Hitomi says. Hitomi. And you are? Uh. Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. In a way. Mr. Date said he's. Iris. Oh, right. Jesus. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea in a tray. She put everything down the table and sat down on the sofa. Ooh, boy. What was it? Yeah, this is definitely the exact same apartment. Wait, your, your neck just does a complete grade A 360 degree. Oh, yep. Definitely the same apartment. Definitely the same. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'll leave this off here now. Because everyone likes cliffhangers, right? <laughs> I don't. Well, sometimes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you gotta leave off on an end note at some point. Oh boy. There's many different lines of questioning and inquiries I really want to get into if we're going to solve this mystery. Come on, gang, we're going to solve this mystery like like real people. Okay. Like real people. Reality. But actually, I'm starting to like... I actually like her. Iris. Or Asa. Tessa. Oh my gosh, I love the wordplay everything. <laughs> wonder how that's going to... I want more puns and wordplay. It's my absolute favorite. <laughs> so I guess next time we'll get to see exactly like how this apartment, like how we know Hitomi, maybe like clues about knowing Iris. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a, could be a sight to see then if we get to learn something about that then. So hope you have a fun time watching this and playing this. I'll be seeing the next one. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Excitement bubbling. Not like the tea, though. I mean, tea's just hot. But I'm not hot. <laughs>